Welcome to 5 More Minutes, helpful videos in 5 minutes or less that support the teaching and learning of all students. I'm your host, Shelley Moore, and today's episode is called United. Okay, wow, friends, I gotta tell you, you really stepped up to the plate on this one. Remember back to the very first 5 More Minute video, The Evolution of Inclusion? Today's topic is the evolution of inclusion. Do you remember I asked you all a question at the end? Can we still do better? Do you think there's another evolution in inclusion? What might that be? And let me tell you, you sure did tell me. The first response I got was from a mom. She said, Shelly, I have a son who's a little person and all of these dots, they're the same size. One of those dots should be smaller because size matters. And I gotta say, the pleasantly plump 10 year old inside of me totally agrees. So you know what I said to that mom? Yes, you're right. And then there was another person who said, yeah, but Shelly, what's with this solid black line around the dots? That should be a dotted line. What about virtual communities? <sighs> yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. And then someone said, yeah, but Shelly, why is there only one bubble. If a person feels like they're included in one place, that's not enough. That's not inclusion. That's usually the last option. Inclusion means you have many communities that you feel safe and belong in. And you know what I said? Yes, absolutely. You're right. You're all right. And then I got this one. And this one really made me think. This guy said, Shelly, I can't commit to a color. Where's the intersectionality? And to add on that, another person agreed and said, what if we were all little trivial pursuit pies and all the little colors represent all of our identities? Yes, I love that one. It's perfect. So as you can see, this caused sleepless nights because all of these versions were better than mine. And so I knew I had to call Cousin Paul. Oh, Shelly. Hey, Shelly, how are you? Cousin Paul, I asked. We need to make another video. You know what he said? Let's, Let's do, do it. it. So I booked a plane ticket to New Jersey, and then guess what happened? The Tuesday before I left, a colleague came up to me with a big yellow bag, and this is what she said. Shelly, one of my students watched your video, and she's made you something that shows what she thinks the next evolution of inclusion is. In the bag was the most incredible mouth painting done by Megan, her student. Now before I show you the painting, because obviously I'm gonna show it to you, I'm going to read you what she said on the back. Megan says this, Shelly, I think the next evolution is united because when we work together, we all become a part of each other. Here is Megan's painting. Megan is 12. Now I know we talk a lot about inclusion, We've made a whole lot of videos, we've had a lot of conversations, we've asked a lot of questions, but it's all really leading to this. All of this is just talk, unless we actually take action. Megan is living inclusion. Her peers are living inclusion. Her school is living inclusion. They are taking action. So Megan, this is a shout out to you. Thank you for your painting. Thank you for your words. But most of all, thank you for teaching us why any of this matters. You are the reason why we do this work. You matter. And I want you to know that we will never stop working. So friends, if you're watching this, here's my challenge. Go find a Megan. And I want you to thank them. I want you to thank them for teaching us. And then I want you to decide how you're gonna take action. Because we need to take action and we can never stop moving for our Megans. So there you have it, another five more minutes. Let's keep in touch. Email, podcast, YouTube, make sure you follow because this little community we're forming, this is a community that's never gonna stop moving. See you next time.